everyone, Ian here at Able City in Burbank, and today I am checking out the Cameo Vesa mount from Able City. We're also going to check out related accessories that you can use to build up around the Vesa mount to optimize functions on your monitor. Before I do that, though, I want to show you some of the unique characteristics of this Vesa mount. I've got my Vesa mount on my camera cart. This is a standard 5 8 or junior size uh, mounting pin. So just put it on there, nice heavy tie down. Great for cold weather if you're wearing gloves. On this side, we have a lever to lock and unlock tilt adjustment. This has 230 degrees of tilt adjustment. I'll swing around the front here and just look at the spacing for the Vesa mount itself. Uh, these standards are uh, 75 and 100 millimeter. That's standard spacing for VESA mounts. But what makes it unique is the ability for this to spin 360 degrees. This is great if you're doing vertical shooting, uh, need to uh, have the cart or your uh, set up on an incline, or you just need to get one shot uh, where the monitor needs to be flipped because the camera's upside down uh, for a shot. Makes it fast and easy to make those maneuvers. I've grabbed a Sony PVM monitor and you can see that it's got the standard VESA spacing on the back. So I'm going to attach it to the VESA mount using the supplied three millimeter uh, screws and then I'll show you how to put some accessories onto this. So you can see I have the VESA mount on the monitor in its most basic configuration with the four tie down screws. Before I add anything on, just wanted to show you how quickly and easily it is to adjust this. So I'm going to just flip this lever out and I can swing this literally bring it over this way. And as far as the rotation goes, it's as simple as that. One of the things that's essential for uh, running a monitor is to have the ability to work uh, either on main power or on camera batteries. So we have cameo plates that attach to the VESA mount and we have either gold mount or V-lock. Either way, uh, we can mount them on the top in this kind of configuration or I'm going to mount it off to the side here like this. These two screws are going to come out. I'm going to place the plate on top. That same screw is long enough to go through the uh, battery plate and onto the VESA mount and hold it securely. And we've got a nice short cable so it doesn't get snagged and ends in a 90 degree uh, four pin XLR. Now that I have the battery plate installed, it's time to think about accessories that I might want to run with the monitor. In this example, I might want to use a wireless transmitter system, so I want to have my wireless receiver attached to the monitor, and I also want to pull power from the battery that's powering the monitor as well. So to do this, I'm going to use a Cameo monitor accessory plate. I'm going to mount it onto the opposite side of the monitor from the battery plate. All right, so I got my accessory plate installed. Notice I popped in a BNC so you can see that you got room uh, to get your signals in and out. On the accessory, you've got quarter 20s uh, right here. It's also a whole row of them over on this side. Before I, I put the uh, 15 mil rod in, just want to show you that I'm going to mount my uh, Teradek receiver, or any receiver for that matter, uh, using this accessory. This is made by Able Cine as well. This is a Cameo uh, Chico clamp. Really simple. Uh, it's got a little lock lever here. Just goes on to the 15 millimeter rod. It's got quarter 20s tapped right here, and it's got a uh, quarter 20 screw self-retaining. So I'm going to put that in there like this, tie it down on the kip, move this back, and flush that up just a hair. All right, that's good. All right, I'm going to grab my Teradek, and we'll see it up and running. So as you can see, I've got my uh, bolt receiver on here. I've got the power hooked up and I've got the uh, BNC going into the input on the monitor. A couple more things I want to show. Uh, next is a monitor uh, handle uh, made by Able Cine. This is a Cameo monitor handle. This mounts to the VESA mount. You don't need the accessory plate to use it. Nice thing about it is it allows you to grab uh, onto the monitor when it's in a foamed out case quickly and easily. And it also, it's handle folds down for transport. Wanted to show you a close up of how this uh, mount goes on. It's going to go into these uh, tapped holes here and here. 
So it literally just goes in like so, ties down with supplied Phillips head screws, and you're ready to go. Last but not least is our Able Cine Cameo V-Lock. You know, you'll be thinking, oh, lots of folks make uh, V-Lock. Well, there's unique features to this one. First of all, it's made from very uh, high quality uh, materials. It's milled out, uh, it's very tough. It's got the traditional V-Lock mounting that you would expect. It also has a very high quality release lever. Uh, it's very solid uh, machined uh, part here. And on the other side, it has a lock lever, which is kind of a nice thing to have. You slide this down. Now that is uh, locked on there solid. So someone can't come by and inadvertently uh, knock off what was attached to this. It's a great little product and it's part of the Cameo line from Able Cine. Well, that wraps up my look at the Cameo VESA mount from Able Cine and its related accessories. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you again soon.